news today before its judgment for the Ampatuans, who are the prime suspects in the decade-old Maguindanao massacre case. Malacanang is still hoping that justice will prevail. One social civic group is reminding the government that regardless of the verdict, families of the victims should be compensated. Jenny Dawn reports. Maguindanao massacre suspect Saldi Ampatuan is now back in Camp Bagong Diwa. The Quezon City RTC ordered his transfer from the Makati Medical Center where he was confined for over a month due to stroke and other cardiovascular illness. Judge Jocelyn Solis Reyes rejected Ampatuan's request for an extension, noting that his remaining therapies could be performed outside of the hospital. And as judgment day draws near for the decade-old horrendous mass killing case in Maguindanao, Malacanang is hoping that justice will prevail for the victims and their relatives. Court will decide on the basis of evidence, so we hope that justice will be given to the parties, especially to the prosecution. But the Center for International Law, or Center Law, says the government's well wishes are not enough. The group believes that regardless of the verdict, the government should indemnify victims keen. Center law reasons out that the state has a duty to protect people's right to life, something it failed to do for the 57 civilians and journalists who were killed in what is arguably the most horrific election-related killing ever recorded in the country. The fact that the massacre occurred and that the accused are state officers, public officers, no less, then there's really a need for the Philippine government to give an official recognition that it utterly failed in its obligation to protect the lives of its citizens. The group is suggesting that each family who lost a member in the massacre should receive no less than a million pesos. The Philippine state should provide at least, at the very minimum, one million each. Because remember, the, the moral effects, as well as the psychosocial dislocation, the economic dislocation that the Maguindano massacre uh, gave to all the family members. Center Law has been advocating for the compensation of the victims' families since 2014, when it filed communications before the United Nations Human Rights Committee. For News 5, Jenny Dongon, We Are One News.